And with that, hey there guys, I am Sonic Ghost and welcome to Let's Play Sonic Riders. I am playing the GameCube version here. This game was released for Sonic's 15th anniversary. It is available for the GameCube, the PlayStation 2, and the original Xbox, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to go over here, create a new game. You don't really need to create a new game for what I'm going to be doing the Let's Play, but eh, I just feel like it. So you have three moods, game starts, shakes you to the main stuff, extra, which is like listening to the bonus content and whatnot, and options, well you know what options should be by now, if you played video games, it's the options. So we have a couple different modes here, really what I'm going to be focusing on for the most part in this let's play is the story mode, the story mode really is the meat of the game, besides that, then the only other meat of the game would just be normal race, so I'm just going to go ahead and focus on the story mode. There are two different story modes, there's a hero story mode, and then there's an unlockable one that you get after beating the heroes mode, so we're just going to go ahead and start up the hero story. I think the signal's coming from around here. Hmm. That's really weird. It looks like something's jamming the radar signal. Huh? There! What's that? Sonic! The Emerald's over there! All right! Now we're talking! Competition! are no holds barred. All contestants pay a simple entry fee of one chaos emerald, and the winner takes it all. So, let's see who among you dares to meet this challenge. Eggman again? Just what is he up to this time? And there's more! Before I forget, I'll present the current contestants. These players, they're hot. The best racers I can find. Hey, that's... The X-World Grand Prix, huh? Let's do this! So after all of that story, now we finally get to play the game. 
We need to finish win the top three. There will be a requirement for you each time you have to race in this game. For the most part of the game usually requires you to finish like the first place to the third place. Nothing really below that. And the first race, guess what we get the race against? All the same exact robots. So the gimmick of this game is airboards. What you have to do is you need to keep these things, to, you know, filled up with air in order to ride around. If they lose all their air, then uh, you have to run. And there are pit stations, also items that you can collect, which can give you air. Pull off the tricks in the game, and that gives you air as well. If you fail a trick, you get a C, meaning that you did not complete the trick, and you gotta try again. If you don't complete a trick, then you don't get any air. Also, each character does have their own special attributes, and there's three types of characters out there. There's speed, there's flying, and there's power. So if you played Sonic Heroes, then you know what these gimmicks are. Pretty much, the speed characters, they can grind on rails, the uh, flying characters can fly in the air, and the power characters can break any kind of heavy obstacle in the way. That's what they can do. So like these cars, for example, if I, were, if I was a power character, I'd be able to knock them out of my way with no problems whatsoever. But my favorite character out of the three would be the speed characters, because the speed character, well, they usually have the best kind of speed and acceleration. Obviously for their stats, but not just that, but also it's because they can grind on the rails, and the rails are sometimes some of the faster ways to get around the track, and sometimes have some pretty good shortcuts. Sometimes they're not the best shortcuts, but sometimes they are. The highest trick combo you can pull off is an X, but usually you can go ahead and just get the uh, double S rank there, and that will give you a good chunk of air. If you like, pull off only one trick like that, you get an R, which pretty much gives you a little to no air at all. So, that's something to know. Also, there's three levels. There's level one, where you start off with, you need to get 30 rings to get to level two, which gives you more air and more, more speed, which are boosts, with a tiny bit of a little different boost. And then there's also level three, which gives you more air and a better boost again. And, what the heck is going on here? That's a first for me. Oh, what the? Traffic, seriously, out of my way. But there you go, that's pretty much all the gimmicks you need to know. I want to just get all that out of the way on the first track, so that we have enough time for the rest of these just to talk about other things. You also get a moment like this in a lot of the tracks where you need to rotate the joystick. You rotate it faster, you get more air. So it's a good place to pretty much just get air if you're, you know, not that good at tricks and whatnot, and you don't want to use, like, pit stations or something like that. So there you go, our first race is done. So let's continue on. Yeah, but what exactly is Eggman really after? Ah, oh, it can't be anything too important. Hey, Sonic! Huh? Amy? <laughs> Don't tell me you've signed up too! Of course, it really looks exciting and fun. Why wouldn't I join? And besides, this way, I'll be able to keep my eyes on you. Ugh. Tails? Mm, that mark. Mark? Uh huh. I think it was on the boards of those guys we ran into in Future City. Babylon. Babylon? Babylon? Yes, the mark of the Babylon roads. A long time ago, there was a floating island known as Babylon Garden. Supposedly, robbers lived there. According to rumors, this legendary band, the Babylon Rogues, were great thieves. Legend also says that the Babylon Rogues incurred the wrath of the gods because of their crimes and that the island was cast into the depths of the earth. After that, supposedly the Babylonians were then scattered for all time, never to be found. But they say that the Babylon Rogue's treasure still remains on that island, waiting to be discovered. There are also rumors that the Babylon Rogues were extreme gear specialists. Still, how can a plank like that just float? That's easy to explain. According to the Kutter-Jukowski lift theorem, the control surface flow is balanced by the inverse kinetics of the- STOP! Nerd! I get it, okay? It just floats, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> huh? Sorry.
sorry, but it's just too funny. Huh? That gear's unusual. Customized it myself. Hmm. Anyone would enter the race with such a piece of junk. <laughs> Thanks, though. It was good for a laugh. <laughs> See ya, Shorty. Oh, that girl! Who does she think she is? Yeah, how can she just walk in and diss tails? I know, and tinkering's all he's really good at, too. And back to the racing. Once again, finish winning the top three. Simple enough. So I guess while we start this race, I can explain the little gimmick of how you take off faster. If you play Mario Kart, you know what I mean by this, so I'm going to kind of use Mario Kart logic. In the beginning of the race, you can get this like extra little boost of speed. What you need to do is pretty much just leave the checkpoint the second that it opens up. Unbelievable there, or excellent, or whatever that just said, I don't exactly remember, because I'm paying that much attention, is the highest rank you can get, so that's the fastest you can go. Now what I just collected there was a 100 ring capsule. There will be one 100 ring capsule in each and every single track, and then there's also a one maximum air capsule. So use them wisely. The one you always want to go for is the 100 ring capsule, because it pretty much just pushes you up to the max level, and at the same time, it gives you, you know, maximum rings, so you don't have to worry about collecting rings anymore. And, you know, being able to go to the max level, have the full air, and just, you know, the best boost that you can get for the character, it's very nice to be able to do that right away in the race. So I just want to give you guys a little bit of forewarning on how this Let's Play is going to be. Half of it's going to be with commentary and half of it's not, because I don't want to talk over those cutscenes. That's the biggest thing. And so because of that, I have to be pretty much silent during that kind of a moment, and, well, I just want to give you guys the forewarning on that now in case you're here more for the commentary side and not really for the, uh, cutscene side. Hopefully you can't hear my joystick rotating too much there. I'm barely rotating at times just so, you know, the rotations of the joystick won't get picked up into the mic. And, oh, what the? Seriously? Oh, well, at least I got to show that trick off. Very useless, but, uh... If you go ahead and press both the L and R buttons at the same time, then you'll pretty much like do an instant break and you'll like push this little tornado of air using a good chunk of your air up. But it's useful that uh, you have that skill only if you're in a tight corner and like, need to stop. That's the only time I really use it because I don't really find it all that useful to attack people with because usually you never need to attack people with that kind of thing. And hey, what do you know? I hit those, uh, I hit those air ramps. Well, air ramps. They're not called air ramps. I don't know what they're called right now. Air boosters, something like that. It, they just cause you to fly if you're a flying character. I never really hit those, so that's a first for me. <laughs> Alright, let's just fly this way. We're almost done with the race. It's kind of a good thing that half of this is commentary and half of it's not. Because of the fact that the uh, game by itself, you know, if the story wasn't here, we'll just be racing around. So it can get pretty repetitive. But I did want to make a let's play of this game because... I liked the game when it first came out and everything. I really started to play it. I, I really did just start to get into it after I played it for a bit. Admittedly, the game does have a huge learning curve, so that's why a lot of people put it down, but... Well, besides that reason, the game is still pretty good. I do enjoy it. But I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. So, next time, let's play Sonic Riders. We'll continue on with the hero story. I'll see you guys next time.